I'd like to introduce, 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 introduce. Let's go. Mr. Glenn Toby. Glenn, maybe you'd like to say a few words. My name's Glenn Toby. I founded the Book Bank Foundation. I was homeless from the age of eight to about the seventh grade. Seventh grade, seventh grade, seventh grade, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Like, my mother had, you know, emotional, mental illness from it because what happens is you get dementia. Like, you're sitting there, it brings paranoia on, you start overthinking, you start thinking, you hear voices, so it tears you down, especially in a city like New York, you know what I mean? I mean, we got weather here where people are dying every day, even inside their own, in the projects, in the hood. So it's a serious disease, honestly. I was in, in and out of shelters as a child. I experienced how my mother had to deal with the, the, the bureaucracy and the politics. And that anger that y'all wake up with, and that anger that you walk into this building with, they did not put you here. Don't think they can keep you here. You're keeping yourselves here. They're not writing the checks. They're not issuing the policies and the mandates. If you don't like it in here and you think it's rough, when you hit the street, they'll sweep over you like you're invisible. Toby became a 1980s music phenomenon as a successful successful rapper and established his own production company. I had a knack for that slack. Way back before y'all had these tracks, when they was ditching them cracks, I knew exactly what it was and I'll throw it back. Sweetie G, way back in the day, he was all back with Russell Simmons back in the day. They used to like compete throwing parties. I'm a throwback to the future, got a suit that can suit you. I know exactly what it is. You heard me, homie? I boot you. Out of Queens. You got the twins. Go twins. Go twins. Sweetie G. Blow. The BBF is so deaf, we take your last breath. Toby has founded the Book Bank Foundation in an effort to boost literacy among the nation's youth, with a specific emphasis on inner-city children. You know, this is serious work. It's like I've dedicated my life to helping and serving others. The struggles that B went, like sometimes we pick different people to roll with, to you young people. We make these choices, sometimes it's a matter of minutes in your mind. As you've seen this champion win, Things go in the quarters of his mind, the decisions he makes, the strategies, the execution of it. That's what we have to do every day. We can't depend on anybody but ourselves. People don't understand. They just see the food, but I'm looking past. I'm looking at somebody not going to jail because you just gave him water, chips, and, and a sandwich. You know, I'm just a man in front of some greater men and greater women. And we're going to serve Atlanta. We're going to touch some hearts. Uh, lift some spirits up. That's what I live for. The Vanguard Award is annually given to the African American male who best exemplifies the values of leadership, activism, integrity, and commitment to the African American community. The board for tribute this year feel that Mr. Glenn Toby embodies these qualities given his versatile roles as a musician, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and champion of our society's most underprivileged individuals. Originally from Brooklyn, New York, he has worked with over 25 NFL players such as Asante Samuels and Josh Evans via his company, Team Management, and Infinite Sports Concepts. I'd now like to present Tribute Vanguard Award to Mr. Glenn Toby. This is a call to arms. We're in trouble. These wonderful banks that acknowledge your intelligence, acknowledge your abilities. We need to issue a mandate to the banking systems, to the government, to opportunity, to look at our grand design. Black people have become a subculture. Madison Avenue dictates what a rapper says. They say most times, we come in the house dancing to mama about, hey mama, what's going on? This is what's happening. They had some iconic figures who always dance in these commercials and everything's always sports or it's music and it's fashion and it's art. But some of the most amazing brothers, talented brothers, wise brothers, good sisters, we don't see enough of this imagery in commercials. We don't hear it on the radio. We don't see it on TV. We have a voice. Have we lost our voice? Have we lost our choice? Our choices have been moved and manipulated. Election in Florida proved that was a choice. We can change the world. You are the hands that rock the cradle, not just mother tending to the baby. We don't see father that much. We can change the world tonight, people.